Hello and uh, welcome to today's podcast. Uh, today I have Rachel Young with me. Um, I'm sharing my screen so you should be able to see Rachel on the other side. So how are you Rachel? Yeah I'm great thank you Carl. Pleasure to be with you. Thanks for having me. No thanks thanks for thanks for um, for popping on. I, I, I want to I want to get you on for a while because um, I am um, at the beginning of I want to say I feel like it's probably six months ago now um you 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 effectively converted me um to 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 my zone that so much now I, I consider <laughs> myself drinking the kool-aid um and i i am still learning what it does um but from a from a pt perspective i i think it does loads um i think that there's loads of value that it, that it can add to to any personal trainer's business and and after speaking to a bunch of pts over the last couple of weeks it, it almost surprised me that there were still trainers that didn't know what it what it was and, and what it did so um look thank you for coming on i, I one i i, I, I want to get to my zone but i, I do want to um talk a little bit about you if that's all right all right <laughs> so look, well, well, I, uh, your your journey I, 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 you, you'll have seen that I've, I've stalked you on LinkedIn um, this this afternoon just to just to clarify um, some some things that maybe I didn't know about you and I, and I can see that we obviously worked at the same company for, for quite some time with uh, Fitness First and um, which, which we knew um, but I, I didn't know, really know where you'd started so I, I've got um, from from your LinkedIn profile which which might be missing some info I'm not sure you tell me um, but um, from general manager to uh, to director of business development at, at my zone what's that what's that journey been like Oh, Carl, I, I love the fitness industry. I was put on this planet to get people moving. And the, it is, for me, the place where you can truly have an impact on people's lives. So I just want to get people moving. My journey started with um, actually group exercise. Love being a group ex, ex instructor. And it was at a time when you could rent a village hall for probably £25 a night, um, a night and then pack in class after class after class. And I loved it. I loved it because it was entertainment. I felt like it for that, that evening or those hours, the noise was turned off. Everyone was listening to me and I could throw a fitness party. So that kind of created the fire in my belly and I got opportunities with Fitness First. So early days teaching Group X, I didn't have any intention of going down the fitness route. I wanted to go into university. My parents were dentists. I was going to be a dentist. I was going to be a dentist. And then I was like, forget that I'm going into fitness <laughs> perhaps didn't have the brains either but that's another story um and yeah through fitness first they just got lots of different opportunities it was the it was the good old days early days when I joined them they had I think club 12 I joined them with wow. uh, remember opening club 360 something got to 500 and at one part in that journey we were opening one club every four days and you could go to a regional manager's meeting and you have to, you know, different countries and different territories there. I think what that gave me was just exposure to travel, different opportunities, mixing in kind of different circles. And I grabbed them. I just grabbed them. And I think what, I'd, what I've learned from my, my growth and my experience in the fitness industry is it's how you talk to people, it's how you treat people irrespective of their title or their role. And you never know, <laughs> you never know who you sat next to at the, at the dinner table or at the bar or what opportunities or help or support that might lead to. And I just managed to, I think Carl, stay really well connected with people and keep following my passion for ultimately throwing that fitness party. That fitness party, yeah, it started as group exercise, but it's it's your member journey, it's your fitness product, it's your transformation camps, it's the results, it's, you know, a gym is a gym, in my perspective, a club is a club and a treadmill is a treadmill, but what's different is the fire that's in its belly, the heart and soul of it, and that comes from the people, be it your staff and your members, and the programming, the experience is delivered. Um, I, I kind of more recently was able to, I've worked with some fantastic people in that journey and stay connected with them, and more recently, I've used my zone for many years and the more I could um, kind of work with it and use it in different projects, the more I wanted to understand about it. 
and get under the bonnet of it. And then realize that actually I banged on Dave Wright's door till he's kind of said, come in. <laughs> Because I'm in an ideal place where I can truly have an impact on people's lives because we talk, we are able to talk to everybody. And we just want to level the playing field in terms of exercise and get everybody moving. Be it my mum or a pro athlete you need to be rewarded for their effort. So it kind of goes full circle back to the group exercise. Um, but it's been a it's been an incredible, incredible journey. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, let's Let's um, let, before I get into the, the sort of the detail then about, about, about my zone, which I, 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 can, I can hear already how clearly passionate you are about it. Um, what, what's the best bit of advice you've been given along the way? Because I think that would be interesting. OK, the best bit of advice has got to be. Um, I'm going to add two bits to it. Remember who you are and trust yourself. So remember who you are for me is all about being your authentic self in every single thing you do. You show up, you put on you every day, whether it's in a personal in a personal setting or in a business setting and stay true to your values. And trust yourself and know that you, you personally, you do have the answers inside of you, but actually when there are things happening in, this, in the environment that you're in that may not resonate with your, your values and you're thinking, no, no, I'll, I'll just go with that. Don't go with it. Trust yourself. Remember who you are and trust yourself. That's 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 great advice. Um, and Shame one... I didn't listen to that <laughs> until relatively recently, but it is, it is something that if I could do it again. <laughs> what about a book? Um, I know that um, you, you've already recommended me a book for, for, for my website. Um, and that, that was the, uh, the Disney book, and not, the, not a, a Disney book. It, it was about the, <laughs> uh, the, the founder and the, the creator. Um, but um, we discussed offline a little bit about, about another book that, um, that, that had come to mind that, um, that maybe had played a bit of a, a, an influential role in your career. What, what, what was that? So I've always dipped in and out of books. And when I look back at it, I, I was doing shelf care. So I would buy a book, thought I read it, and I'd stick it on my shelf. So I've had an abundance of books. Now, more recently, discovered the best way for me to learn and listen was through Audible. So rather than sit and read, plug my headphones in, do it when I'm running or training and my body's occupied. And I really feel that the kind of, I'm going to go for two um, that have had a real impact. And one would be uh, the David Goggins Can't Hurt Me. Yeah. because that if you can get past the first two minutes it, you you know you listen to it and it does punch you in the face but that's life <laughs> life will punch you in the face it's a fantastic book really really interesting and then the other one is a Matthew Syed called Rebel Ideas okay and it's about diversity and it's very interesting because it's more about diversity of thinking and um, he refers back to some incredible stories of Bletchley and 9-11, um, we're not going to spoil the book, but it just makes you think about diversity and perhaps a different format. So it's not just, you know, your traditional black, white, religious or whatever, ethnic diversities, but actually diversity of thinking. And if you've got different people who think in different ways on your team, what value is that going to add to your business and to your life? And it, it's a really interesting book. So I'd yeah. strongly recommend that one. Okay, well, that, that thank you because I think you know when whilst you're talking from your 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 frame of reference right now, when I when I think about personal trainers, um, uh, I I think about them um, running a, a potentially a, a, a group PT product where effectively the the role is is not dissimilar to to a general manager role where you've got a team and the team are your your clients and you, you and and the, the the learnings that you can take from these books are. are are really relevant to a to a personal trainer, and um, wh whether you want to progress up the ladder or not, you know it, the the learnings from from these these the, these these books make make a lot of sense for for what you're currently doing. So, okay, well, look, then um, thank you for that. And um, I'm I'm keen to get into the, the my zone thing because from from my personal perspective, I, I'm I, I feel like I'm I'm really quite late to the party. Um, I I know that. Um, from, uh, the, 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 it, it might be interesting from, from your perspective to give me the detail, you know, how long has the, the product been around um, and how, how late am I to the party? So let's, let's start with that question. Oh, 
you're really late. <laughs> you're really late, Carl. But uh, I, in my opinion, the, the party's just got just got started. So 2011, uh, my zone started. Um, what's interesting about my zone, Dave Wright, the where is the foundations that my zone comes from. So my zone is a it comes from a fitness experience background. It comes as a solution to the fitness industry. It's not a tech company that swooped in on the fitness pie. It's how do we solve the problems of getting more people moving? How do we solve the problem of member retention? So it's very, it was very much fitness orientated as a, as a fitness solution. It's, been, it's tech, so it's been through a massive amount of evolution. We've just recently launched a new product, Switch, which shows has taken a move from um, chest base to wrist base and yeah I think it's been a it's been an incredible journey for the brand um, worldwide and I feel like the party's only just got started so don't feel like you're late um, I think we're just getting started because what's what people I think have experienced during the challenging times of lockdown and on a global basis is that my zone has been pretty much a lifeline to them in terms of staying connected with their members uh, staying even more connected it's taken the emphasis away from it's not just a screen in a pub and, and don't get me wrong we all want the clubs to open we all want the clubs to open and there's nothing like that fitness party i referred to in the beginning but what else can you add to this to stay connected with your members not only while at, and in a lockdown but whilst they're doing their other modalities of, of exercise, you know, we, you want to be rewarded for whatever activity you do and praised by the club or by the trainer who's consistently saying, well done, Carl, for your workout. So yeah. you'll get an email if, you know, you'll get an email after your workout, whether it's in your garage or at your local club when it's open or when you're in the beach in Mykonos to say, congratulations, Carl, on behalf of your gym. So it's an incredible way of building a community and staying connected. And something that's really important to me, it's making it accessible for everybody. I referred back to it in the beginning, my mum to train next to a pro athlete. There's no misunderstanding if a coach is saying, just get in the green zone. Mom, my mum's going, okay, I can do green. And their pro athlete knows, okay, I know I can do between 60 and 7% of my heart rate max. Just take it back to the, the, the really the basics. So, if, if for example, I knew absolutely nothing because that there will be a, a, a portion of people that, that aren't aware of how it works. So, just a little, tell me a little bit about the, the science behind it. So, I'm, I'm not expecting to get super detailed, but um, but you know, how is it that the the system calibrates um, me differently than um, than 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 my mum? Um, and how is it that I can, I can, we can almost compete on a level playing field? How does that, how does that work? So what we've done, Carl, is we have equated this on, you know, it, it, MyZone is uh, built on credibility. So it's built on integrity of data. That's why uh, Dave and, and the team behind are fanatical about the data and the output. We align with the World Health Organization's guidelines on physical activity. And what we do is we convert that 75 minutes or 150 minutes of exercise into 1300 MEPS, my zone effort points across yeah. a month. So we're saying you get your 1300 MEPS and you are aligning to the world, you're being active in relation to yeah. World Health Organization guidelines. And then what we do is we use, use the hunt formula. So you put in your stats on as soon as you download the app, utilizes the hunt formula and it works out your max heart rate. And from that, we reward you a certain amount of effort points for being in every zone, okay? So that will start with two points, um, one point, two points, three points, four points, um, yellow zone and red zone at the top end when you're working out at your kind of your max, we still only reward you four points. Because the other the thing that we want to do with this is we want people to, uh, we want trainers and coaches to be able to coach, not thrash. Yeah, we want people to be coming back for session two and three and not being totally pasted on session one. So it's really important that we reward for the set, uh, re reward points for the amount of effort, which is displayed in a color um, based on time in a certain heart rate zone. Systems incredibly clever as well. So as you get fitter um, and your, it's, as your fitness improves, 
and maybe you can't go back to see your coach because of lockdown, your fitness is improving and you are um, heart rate is able to go up into the red zone. If you spend 40 seconds at 100 percent, the system recalibrates. So it'll take your heart rate up. You get a little email or your max up. You'll get an email to confirm that's done. So it works with your body. So it's actually you almost wear it. So the coach doesn't have to do things um, really to too much to assess uh, a customer or a member or a client um, if they're not able to see them. So what makes it really interesting at this time as well is, you know, the world has got smaller, you know, there should, there's no reason why. I, I want to train with you, Carl. Um, I live in Nottingham. Your classes are in Sheffield. But there's, why should I not be able to have your services and be able to train with you? But you can train. We could do this if we're connected through my zone. You can host your you could do my zone remote classes, um, be rewarded, build your community. And now it doesn't matter where that person is living. If, if I want to train with someone in Scotland, I can connect with them. It almost it almost lends itself to, to online PT um, because you 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 would have um, all that direct feedback from your your clients in the States potentially. Um, uh, without you having to um, sort of, or certainly without you having to be there. Um, that's a, that, that's a, a massive opportunity. I, I'm, I'm thinking where, where my head was at was that um, it, when, we, when I first sort of um, was introduced to the product um, and, and, and we, we, we sort of tested it, the, the, the feedback from, from trainers at that point was, look, it, it, it's, not, it, it's not so good for, um, uh, for, for, for weight training and resistance training. And that's, that's the kind of training that I do with my clients. It's pretty much a, a cardio tool. Um, now, I, I would like to um, argue that straight away because it, it gives you so much feedback that it actually helps with any kind of exercise that you do. Um, but from my own personal perspective, I, 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 it, it's actually got me doing cardio to the bear, which is, which is great. Um, but in terms of my weight training workouts, what it tells me, it, it, it gave me an indication in terms of how hard I was working or, or really how hard I wasn't working. Um, because what it's done for me personally, it's got me training harder because I, I now know that probably for the majority of my training, certainly over the last I don't know, maybe maybe 12 months, certainly throughout lockdown, I guess I was just going through the movements and I was probably not getting past the blue. Um, and and that, that's really not doing anything for me. I would, I'd say probably barely maintaining what I, what I, what I gained. Um, now I know what the yellow feels like because I've tried it. Now I know that I don't die when I hit the yellow. Actually, I'm pushing myself in most of my workouts to get into that yellow sort of red um, face and that's now that's where the magic happens because that's where the results yeah. come from and so what it's done it, it's educated me and I, I, it, I would also argue that it, it I can't take the bloody thing off either and um, you you put some magic into it that that means that every workout and, and but only just before and straight after my workout I take it off um, because it, you've also got me um, making sure that I work at a particular um, level um, throughout my workout, and I know that if I'm if, if I've got it on for five minutes longer, my 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 the percentage of my the, the, the my work rate um, will, will yeah. dip, and it's visible. So you're holding me accountable to to people I don't know. <laughs> why, why does that matter to me? But it yeah. does. <laughs> yeah, and, and you're, you you and I, you know, we're fitness monkeys. We're fitness ninjas. We know, we understand fitness, and I'm from the same thing. You know, I used to do a lot of kind of strength and conditioning work, and I I I thought I worked really hard. I told myself I worked hard. Mm. You would do a you know do a set, and then you'd rest until you were ready to lift again. Yeah. What does that mean? But now I can actually go, okay, I'm going to do my strength program. I'm going to do my, I don't know, six sets of six or whatever. I do a set. I am picking up the bar when I've hit the blue zone. Whether that takes me a minute to get there or 30 seconds, I pick up the bar when I hit the blue zone. Not yeah. when I'm ready, because when yeah. I'm ready, I, I might be getting distracted or I might not be ready. Yeah. So you really get to understand um, your body or from a coach's perspective, what your clients are actually doing. How many times do you say, you know, to a client or your group to say, right, I'm going to see you same time next week. And in the meantime, I'd like you to do three 30 minute workouts. And that person I've done, it goes, no problem, Carl, I'll do that. And they come back and they go, yeah, I kind of did it. Well, actually you can look in the app and go, actually you did 45 minutes here. I only asked you for 30. So I ran it back in. It's an incredible barometer of 
what I've I've seen um, more recently is it's a barometer of kind of warning signals as well when people are you know falling off not you know we want to we want to get people moving because it makes them physically well and mentally well and fit for purpose and our purpose has got to be life <laughs> really living and living it to the max so when if you can see kind of trends of people who are maybe you know you, they've got regular activity levels and they're starting to drop off okay what what what's going on there you know i often send people little cheeky nudges through the app or a little text a little message and they go how did you know? <laughs> Good timing. I was losing my way a little. It's quite incredible what you're capable of doing. And it's very simple to execute through this through the system. I mean, I'm an absolute believer because it just changes people's lives. You know, we work with, you know, yes, in the fitness sector, but with the military, with the fire services, you know, in medical care, in rehab because of the accuracy of the data and the integrity of the data I had calls recently with you know motorsport everything that they do is data driven they time everything they want something that's accurate and they, they can build the community stay connected yeah it's a, it's a very interesting very interesting tool and it's fantastic to hear someone like yourself share the changed experiences from lifting weights yeah, from lifting weights and managing your rest and recovery and on, kind of on the flip side I was a you know used to love CrossFit workouts love CrossFit because it was a total switch off and I thought I trained really hard I'm really good at telling myself I train really hard I, I wasn't at all 100 uh, percent at the um the, the, one of the things that the, the, one of the ways I, I've been using it is, is I, I'm I've got this mentality now that I want to make sure that I burn 500 calories um, and and that because I'm, I'm, I'm on a bit of a, a weight loss mission, a, a body fat loss mission, to be clear. Um, and I know that if I lose 500 calories a, um, a, a day over the over the week, that's going to equate to three and a half thousand calories, which is a, a, a pound of fat. And, and what I'm trying to do is do that. Mm -hmm. That, that with nutrition and, and the same with uh, with my training um, and what it, what my zones actually educated me uh, more recently is that I can I can jump on a spin bike for um, for maybe 40 minutes uh, and have to work pretty damn hard um, to get to that 500 uh, calorie mark but actually with a, a resistance based workout that's got me moving so more of a more of a hit hit workout um, I, I can burn um, more calories um, doing that kind of workout um than i can with with, with cardio um, and i wouldn't have known that um without the the the, the use of, of of the my zone belt um but you've also i suppose what it's also got me doing is it, it's got me thinking about my fitness outside of my sessions and I, and I say that that i'm now training seven days a week and i've committed to uh, this month doing 30 for 30 which is the, the, at least 30 minutes every day for 30 days and i'm, I'm going to do it i'm doing an hour um, because I'm, I'm, you've got me i, I want this next badge <laughs> what's that all about <laughs> so the badges uh will, again goes back to rewarding effort so again aligning to the world health organization thought 1300 meps that you get uh, a different status level uh first month oh you start with nothing as soon as you hit 1300 meps you hit a status, you hit your first status. You need to spend two months in that status. So consistency is what we're trying to build in. Mm. Then you move up. If you miss that 1300, so um, what, what's your status now? I think you're gold. I, think. I'm, I'm, I wish I was. <laughs> That's how desperate I am. I was being polite. <laughs> I was being polite. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm currently bronze. Um, I, I'm, I'm more, more. Um, it's, not, it, it's it's a double-edged sword. It's a little bit gutting that um, I, I'm, that the first first thing that I, I never thought I'd be able to achieve thirteen hundred meps in, in the first instance. Um, once I'd done that and I knew I could do it, um, then I wanted my next badge. But I've got to wait a couple of months, and I've got to be more consistent. And, and to get that, I've got, now got bronze, but to get silver, I believe I've got to be four months on the bounce um, with thirteen hundred meps, which of the consistency exactly yeah. so it's got to be consistency it, for exactly it, it it's encouraging me to be consistent it's encouraging me to keep up my exercise and i believe there's a there's a little loophole thrown into it if, if i miss a month i go back to zero 
you stay at that status, but you have to stay, you have to do the consistent months again. So, right, okay. So, so if you are, in, you know, yeah, yeah, you want to go back to zero. <laughs> Not, not unless I sort it out for you. But it's just about, you know, it's about habits. You look what it's like, you know, you know, run, running a club, running a group, running your PT clients. You want people to want to come to you, but stay connected to you and, and building that habit. And, you know, we all know working out is tough. It's hard. It's cold. It makes you sweat and smell. You know, it, it can be tough. So what can we do to make it more inclusive, more accept, uh, accessible, more fun? Yeah. And you know when you build people up and they you, they form that habit if you as a coach can reward them not only for for their results but also the rec recognition through the statuses maybe throw them in a t-shirt or something that you want to do specific for your for your club or your your pt group then they like that you know that tap on the shoulder it really goes along it really goes a long way that recognition and if you can get them to, you know, six months you know, of habit, of that consistency, they're going to stay with you. You've got to do something pretty, pretty challenging or throw a big spanner in the works for that person to leave you. So, you know, as well, when you're looking through your records of, of what status levels people are, who's almost at the, you know, who's new to their fitness journey as your business, as your business grows, who's new to the fitness journey or who's in the hall of fame, you know, 48 months <laughs> of consistent 1300 maps is, you know, that's a, that's a really good habit. That's really great consistency. Those people will, you know, they'll always stay with you and they'll be your advocates. So you can almost use your, your MyZone network and your MyZone community as the as the people that almost help help each other out do you run a, a, a camp or a, a session and make sure you connect mary with giles because mary's new and giles is a, in the hall of fame you know you can start speaking a, a different different kind of language but, but it is i think the most important thing is the fact uh, the credibility that it's built on the accuracy it's it's got solid foundations and comes from a how do we solve this problem to keep people moving to mm -hmm reward their effort and make it accessible to everybody no I, you're brilliant I, I, and I, I particularly like that the, the the point you made earlier about the, the retention um side of things so that when you you actually as a for example as a as a as an online trainer, you might do a weekly check-in. Uh, that might be a Google form potentially where you have your clients complete a, a, a micro survey, I suppose, on a, on a, on a weekly basis. And, and one of the purposes of that is one, to keep them engaged, one, to keep reminding them that they're on, on this, this journey, but two, to give you an indication to um, as to whether you need to dip in and, and give them some extra support. So if you're you're, you're reading the, the information back and it sounds like they need a little bit of a, a nudge, then then the idea is you give them a call. MyZone does that for you. Um, you, you you're no longer you know what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, relying on subjective information that, that how do you feel? Um, how did you feel your last week? Forget that. Your last week went like this <laughs> because the data is already there. You know, and that gives you as a trainer so much more detail uh, and and the conversations are are so much more relevant to that particular client that there's no wonder they're going to stay with you longer so um i, I think, I, I I think we can like, also go on. sorry no, i think no. we can also see how you can build a a community that almost helps each other because look, we, we, we've both done it it's a it's hard running your own business it's hard being a trainer because you get up super early and irrespective of whether the dog's just died or you've had a row with your boyfriend girlfriend whatever you have to turn it on and you've got to be on point and it's exhausting and if you can have tools that will support you to maybe be able to run your business so that you don't actually have to show up to all the sessions but you can hold them accountable in other ways you can add variety that to their workouts by saying right the weekend i want you all just to walk i want to set a challenge where it's only points um achieved in the green zone yeah, so you're getting people to train in different ways. And then you'll see it in, in the groups that the, the members and the community almost run themselves. You know, like, oh, Doris, yeah. where, are you, where are your maps? Hey, Carl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're part of the same challenge. And we, you've seen the chat, the chat that goes on. You know, it, it inspires and keeps everybody moving. And we've done some fantastic things to really support clubs to stay connected to their members, really support trainers 
to be able to, and some of them have been lost their facilities. Some of them that I know are going, I'm never going to open my doors again out of choice because what I've seen is how I can leverage this remote system yeah. and hold people accountable because Zoom is great. And these, these set, live sessions are really great. Nothing takes away from the club. But how hard is that person working? How much effort are they putting in? It's a lot of, I think we're in a, we're almost in a bit of a, a digital dilemma because there's so many different options out there. I'm speaking to someone recently and they said, we're going Facebook live. And that's excellent because at least you're doing something. But I've done three Facebook live sessions this morning while I was eating my scrambled egg and toast. You, you don't yeah. know you're sitting watching it you know <laughs> it's quantifiable accountability and feeling that belonging real belonging well yeah, again you, you, a, a good point out um amongst amongst all the, all the others um is that a lot of trainers are, 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 that i'm speaking to us and they can't wait to get back to face-to-face -face training because they feel that they get more out of their clients face to face which i totally get um Certainly, when when you, you you your your other option might well have been Zoom or, or Facebook, but when you compare that to 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 a my zone workout where um there you're actually seeing more probably more detail than you would face to face. But looking in someone's face doesn't tell you what heart rate they that they might give you some indication that they're, that they're nearly at the red, but it, it doesn't tell you exactly how far you can push them to get that little bit more without them passing out um, and, 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 and and you know the, the the other end of that spectrum as well if you don't want them working that if you want them resting um, and and there, there are multiple people that um that, that just keep going um, and and you, if you want them to rest and you want them to, to to recover and you want to build their fitness then it's important that they actually get their heart rate back down again that you can see all that um through through my zone and you can't see that through face to face so maybe there is maybe there's some there's definitely some some scope there for trainers that are um, you know, very, very much face to face to, to, to explore this. Yeah, hundred percent. I think the challenge is sometimes that people have a misunderstanding of heart rate. Uh, it's too difficult. It's too complicated. I can't do this. I don't need it. But actually, once you see it, use it, experience it, and see how it, it can support you, then then the I can guess the penny drops. But there's also how many how many years can you spend doing? your boot camps or your one-to-one -one sessions. There is only a certain amount of hours in the day. So yes. how do you make your business uh, scalable? You, know, you may have a, a really successful boot camp in Milton Keynes. Why can't you have it across the UK? You, know, you have trainers are as challenging as this time is and as horrible as it's been. It's really exciting. It's really exciting because there's an opportunity to think totally differently. You now we've got the people who are gagging to get back into the clubs because of you know they've they've missed all of that but we've also got the people who are i need to work out for my health there's a whole different world out of there that we yeah. need to make sure we include and make them feel that they're part of something because sometimes personal training as a as a title in itself can sound to it's too exclusive can i afford it there's barriers put up before you've even even started so what else can you do to make your environment more welcoming to people who are seriously concerned about their health now. Mm. No, you, uh, uh, and it was just this morning that the, 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 the suggestion is that we're now going to pay you, um, or uh, there's some, some kind of incentive that we're going to pay you to lose weight. Um, and one of the the, the, the guests on, on, on this certain show suggested, well, ah, I don't think that'll particularly work. I, I don't need paying to run around the park. Uh, I'm not quite sure that that was the, um, the, the incentive that's in, in place, but um, you know, it, it, look, it will absolutely professionalise your service. Um, well, just finally then, on, on, on my zone, obviously there's, there's a, there's, the switch is, is the new thing. Um, what, what's, the, what's the detail around that? So switch is, switch is a really exciting product because we've now moved well, to complement the chest strap, which is 99.4% accurate, it's ECG. We've uh, come out with the switch it's been in testing with us um globally for months so it's been incredibly hard to keep quiet you can imagine me carl trying to keep quiet about that um i've got a little alias basil smith was my my switch uh, workout so i'll be training testing them with my mz3 to the the wrist based kind of so going toe to toe and what it does is measures your blood throat flow through the wrist 
comes with three different straps. So you could do wrist, forearm, or chest. So you can choose depending on the activity you do, which one you want to wear. It's very nice to be able to, I've recently got into more kind of road running or going out on my bike. You can just look at your wrist um, and you can see a little um, LED of the zone that you're in. So you can listen to maybe cardio club or a remote, remote session or your coach telling you who's running a running club or a park run type activity saying, I want you all in the green zone. They can see the heart rates on the laptop at home. And they're saying, Doris, just push a bit more. And Doris can look around, look down and see it from their wrist. I think it makes it for us um, much more, much more inclusive as well. I think you can see, I, I, I the kind of the, didn't really appreciate that the chest strap can be a, a barrier to a lot of maybe overweight people or people who just don't want to lift their shirt up. You know, I know if I want to go out and just be active now, I choose to turn my switch on. All right, I'm choosing to consciously go and walk my dog in the green zone. I'm going to pick up the rate. I'm not just mooching with my dog. Sometimes it's just all, it's all about choice. And a great function that's come out of it is you're able to use it swimming as well. So no miss, miss meps if you want to go for a run, go for a dip in the sea, do your workout. And I just feel like, you know, you said about are you late to the party? I think the party has actually just got started with this, with the new product to support being able to get into and support maybe overweight, hard to reach communities, people who don't want to wear a chest strap, and also the remote sessions that we are able to offer with MyZone Remote Plus. It's uh, really, really interesting times to get everybody moving. Thanks, sure. I think that's a, that's, a, that's a great place to, 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 to end, and I, I really appreciate you your time today although um what i have got just because I, I was conscious that we might not have asked enough questions um i've got <laughs> seven questions that i'm going to fire at you <laughs> um that you have okay about two minutes to come i'm not going to time you because I, 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 I reckon we can do this um are you ready okay go favorite pet. pet my dog harvey a favorite color uh orange favorite holiday destination Ooh, Mykonos. Favourite exercise? Uh, overhead squats. Best course you've ever done? Oh. You've got plenty of Skip that one. <laughs> I've done loads. <laughs> okay, I did, a, I did an on, online NLP course and I sound like a real geek in an anorak, but I loved it because it was just so engaging. I had the attention span of a gnat. It kept me for I, weeks and weeks. Great answer. Great answer. Um, Apple or Android? Apple. Favorite bit of fitness tech? Oh. That's an easy one. My zone all day long. <laughs> Great Rachel, thank you very much. Um, really appreciate it and good to catch up. No, thank you, Carl. It's really been a, a pleasure to share with you, your, your guys, and you do a cracking job with the, the, the PTs and the communities that you're working with. So keep doing what you do. And um, I'll see you at Cardio Club. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.